hello my name is Jahan and this video I will show you how to export your data from Excel to your SQL server first of all I will see my SQL server I will connect this SQL server to your default desktop server now we need to go to login and I will create a new login First of all here you need to log a name, I write the admin and password I write admin123 admin123 We check this boxes, uncheck this all boxes and go to the server room and just check the system admin and click ok When you click ok system admin is added Now we check we click the user authentication and admin here I write admin123 and my login is a successfully we go to window connection and I have by default system master database in the master database we create the tables click the new queries and here we write this queries create a table the, this is the tables name product and we have a four column id name name quantity and price id name this is integer integer then note null next we have a name this is a character and uh, up to 50 and next we have a quantity this is integer and price we have a decimal okay i just click the execute if you press f5 the command will be complete successfully and when you see this table is created see here now not have any data we move to our excel sheets and we click the export button export is completed now we go again and here we see the data in the select from and here write the multiple sign if you want to see all column the product and run see here now its data will be inserted if I change anything else for example I delete this row and here I write the Jahan and 50 quantity price is 1500 and item ID 1514 and I run this query syntax error you see this is the syntax error because there is the integer value we need to write the minimum of the item id and i run again see here they also this syntax error but see here in this case we are uh, everything in here you just in case they have some error you are add on error resume next command and when you run it this is the completed and when I run it now see here the three time the query is automatically done this is the quantity this is the price this is your item ID okay I hope you understand and let me explain to the codes this is the code and i paste this below link in my video description in this I have a downloads file this practice file and you download and test it as per your study purpose first i declare the button they define a new sub name button one this is the button what we create in the sheets one inside we paste the code and here we create a dim cone as Adobe connection this line declare a new variables name cone of the type of the connection which will be used to establish connection to the SQL server database set cone we create a set cone equal to new connection this line will be create instant of the connection object to assign it to new connection variables and here we connection is open and this is the SQL driver 
you just replace this your PC name and this is your database name this is your user ID I write admin and password admin 123 you need to just add the admin and admin 123 and here is your database name here you write a master if you default using and, and here is your server name I will show you how you get the server name when you click here this is your server name you easily copy and paste in this code here with the dim rng as range set rng application dot range here i set the range a2 to d7 because in our sheets i will show you here is the range okay a2 d7 let's move to website for each row in the range row if you have a more range you add the 1000 or anything else or e and here the starting loops that will be over each row in the range of the cell assigned row each of the row is the variables and here I assign ID is the cell 1 2 3 4 they assign the column name 1 ID 2 name 3 quantity 4 prices this line will retrieve the value from each 4 cells here I assign the line to create a SQL insert statement that insert a row into the product table in the database with the value retrieved from the cell the current row that's value it concrete into insert statement as a string using this operator here I call dot execute there I execute this command then for example command now capture this row when command is fin uh, finished then it will be moved to the next row the next row next row means the row 3 row 4 in your case you add a loop or anything else if you want to make it dynamically and here the connection is the closer when everything is finished and message box appear that is a complete okay and if you want to select quantity from product table if you write this any specific column you write the column name if you want to all column write this operator the multiple operator if there any question comments in the below in the video description i will answer to your question thank you for your time